welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working on my E36 M3. I've actually been one week in Barcelona, Spain and it is really good to be back. I have one day left of vacation so I'm gonna make the most of it. So I want to work on my E36 today and make it even better and what I'm going to be focusing on in particular is actually the brake calipers because I don't know if you have noticed but the brake calipers in the rear right here are yellow right there here it's nothing it has not been painted the passenger side front not yellow not been painted rear also not yellow yeah it's really strange i want to do something about that today because i don't want one yellow caliper that's really strange so i am going to paint them today and actually no, I'm not going to paint them. Instead of just painting with a spray can, I'm going to use a brush and use this kind of paint. And I think that will go by quite much faster. You don't have to have tape all around it and like mask it, the area around it. You just have to do, be like careful when you are touching the brake caliper. So this is a video simply to <laughs> try and to learn and show you guys that you can do this real fast, simple and yeah, like real efficient. Also, remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And now, let's begin. Here you can see the yellow caliper. It is kind of cool with yellow, of course, but I mean, this is not like OEM looking color. And you also can see the M badging on the brakes right there. And also, that's also pretty cool that it's OEM M3 brakes. But you know what, I am going for that OEM kind of look, so I'm going to paint these black, actually. And they will look super, super fresh in black. So the first step I'm going to do is to take some sandpaper and sand these down a bit, then clean them off with some brake cleaner, and then take the brush on, and yeah, this will go by quite fast. I did actually do this also on my uh, E36 325 Cabrio, almost the same car as this. So this kind of brings me back to the old times, and um, yeah. I'm excited to test to see how fast this will go because often I use a lot of time on actually just taping around so I don't paint anything else and stuff like that and that takes a lot of time so hopefully today we save a lot of time by just using a brush instead of spray paints. I will let you know if this is a good method or not. <laughs> So what I'm using for paint is this. It's some kind of caliper paint made to use uh, like a, not a pencil, but a, a brush like this. So I think this is much easier to apply. Uh, now that I look at it, maybe I chose a too big brush, but hopefully that will work. Uh, yeah, but I think it's much easier to apply the paint like this and not spill anything and not get anything around it. Like anybody can do this, it's really simple. So, and it will make the car look a lot cleaner with the same color on the calipers, of course. I have also done my uh, usual fix. Uh, the rotors are a little bit uh, rusted, it's, so I have sanded that down a bit and taken some brake, brake cleaner on it to make the surface all clean. I will also take some spray paint on this, actually, and it will look much more clean uh, between or through the wheel. So now, let's. I am really excited about this actually to see how they, it looks. I assume that I need to be really careful about not putting too much on. That's the common mistake. Uh, at least I do. I, I assume everybody else also does that, but every, yeah, it's really easy to put too much on. So I will try to not do that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty black. So we will simply do like that. I will not have too much on the pencil actually. Oh, I have actually never used a brush before like this on a car. Quite strange. Oops, spilled. Oh, god damn, I spilled on. Ah, oh, no, I spilled on myself. I spilled on my knee right there. Ah.
I am now done with this caliper. I have had two layers of uh, paint with a brush on this one and actually one layer on the other side. I can show you that as well. This is just one layer and I think maybe this came out better to be honest because this paint is quite thick. So I like you still see the M emblem right there. And yeah, this came out pretty good, but like I said, I needed to have two layers on this one because it were yellow earlier. So um, yeah, but now it's time to take begin on the front. Okay, I am now done with both sides on the front. Here you see how it looks and it the texture or what you can say is kind of it looks thick and like uh, let's say robust but I don't know it's it's not like car paint because this is not a, uh, like a car panel or a car it's not car paint at all. So it looks quite different, but I don't know what kind of results I could have gotten with just regular paint. I'm happy, I think it looks nice. I used like a little bit over an hour on this job, so I mean, I'm happy the car looks much better with uh, black brake calipers and like not one yellow. <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. It looks a lot cleaner. I'm excited to get the wheels on and see how it looks. Okay, now I am done and we got the wheels on and I must say it looks a lot better than it did looking in between those nice wheels and seeing like a shiny caliper instead of like an old crusty caliper. This looks much better and I really wanted to have those OEM M3 calipers because I think they simply look good and it's really cool with that M badging in the calipers. That's really cool. And uh, yeah, I am really happy. I think it looks really good. and. Uh, to, let's like to sum up like the amount of time I used and the look we got in uh, on these calipers in that time frame that we did use I must say I am happy with the results but I am also going to say this using a brush like I did it works but I think actually I will conclude with taking your time to tape around it and use spray paint I think actually that is better because it's thinner and um, I, I don't know I feel like on my 325 Cabriolet I had a few years back it looked maybe even better but that can be because I did better prep work maybe the caliper were in better condition I don't know or maybe I'm just I don't know romanticizing the situation a few years back that it looked so good when in reality it maybe did not look that good I just remember it looking very good uh, and it's often very hard to see on camera how it's actually in reality But all in all I am pretty happy. This took me like a little bit over an hour So I am happy with this. It, I mean it looks good It looks a lot more fresh and of course having like red or uh, white or not white that would be dirty really quickly but like red or yellow or something like that would be cool, but like I said, with this build, I have, I'm going for that OEM plus kind of look. Anyways, I am really happy about this. So now it's your time to like and subscribe the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you learned something useful and maybe you can do something like this on your car, BMW or whatever car you have. Yeah, let's see each other in the next video. Goodbye.